Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay fellas, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining on the video for this Sunday. I just got off work about an hour ago. I'm all settled down here in my trailer. We've got the AC on. So if you hear the background, that's, that's, the, that's the AC. It's right on the overhead. So please, please forgive me on that account. So it's tight quarters. Okay, I'm here, there, everywhere. I'm working on the Sea Witch. I, uh, Mr. 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 Schultz, uh, he came over and see my, came over and took a look at it in person. He's very happy with it. And uh, so he says, uh, think there's no rush. I said, no, I'm not gonna rush this thing. Of course, you paid me for this thing, I'm not gonna rush. I said, no, no, I don't work that way. I said, I had this thing done in about three months. And he goes, that's, that's fair enough, that's good. And uh, so he's happy, I'm happy too. Okay, uh, anyway, um, I went to storage and I brought out another model I started. This actually, this was a, a dedication build, a, a tribute build for Lord Nelson. This is the, the year fix uh, 1180 scale H. Smith Victory. We'll take the camera and we'll zip around as I narrate the model itself. Okay guys, this is a, a very beautiful, a very beautiful model. I'm going, uh, going to invent some on this thing. And uh, rigging it up. So you gotta take your time when you're rigging this thing up. It takes a lot of time, lots of time. Now, uh, what I did is that I, uh, I started the, the, the standing rigging on it. I got the back ropes on there, as you can see. I got the four stays, and I got the headgear all installed. But I still got a lot more little work to do. I got to rig up the spirit yards and uh, I'm back up a little bit too far. A little bit too close. So I got a little more work to do in the headgear in this thing. With a small scale like this, you can only go so far, guys. Only so far. Nothing's impossible. With proper scale dead eyes, good magnifying glasses, good precise miniaturized rigging tools, you can actually rig this thing up pretty much like a real one. But that's really uh, going to abounds and then some. And uh, so keep it simple, but keep it deep, keep it, keep it busy. But keep it simple. I've got the, uh, I've got the spirit yard stays attached to the floor mass. They always do that on there. And uh, that's where the sail lines come down. I got the sail lines installed all the way up the top of the foremast up there. And they go all the way down. They go to the blade pen, which is right over in here. It's over here. Now, I started on the shrouds. The kit gives you a jig right here. Now, for God's sakes, you get this in your kit, don't, when you uh, put your rat lines on it, get it all done. For God's sakes, don't take it and throw it away. Always keep this thing. This thing is very serviceable. You can use this for scratch, build, anything. This rigging machine right here is very, very essential, and it's adjustable. It comes in two pieces. Again, God, for God's sakes, don't, don't glue it together. It'll snap in. It'll come out. You can adjust it to different lengths of your rat lines. And like I say, when you're you, when you're attaching your your rat lines, when, you, when your vertical and horizontal pieces match, always use tubes to match. This stuff here. I'm using it liberally, like that across there, let it dry. It will soak through the threads of that threads, and it'll stick to itself on the other threads too. So use this liberally, but make sure it don't create a bunch of glue hair 
Just use a bunch on there and make sure it's dappled on there. I'll let it dry. Then, when you get done with that, when it's all done, you take your ACC. You pour it in a little bit of a, a little capsule, and take it and dabble on there. You cut your shrouds up to get a pair of shrouds. That's what I got on here. Okay. Now, I'm not quite certain if I want to go ahead and put sails on this thing or not. I could, but I don't think I won't. What I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and leave the rigging exposed so people can see the rigging on this thing. Now, going all the way out of the running rigging on this thing, putting sails, you got to put up butt lines, blocks, you got to take clue lines, and hook everything up, and uh, that's work. This Airfix kit is very nice. I, myself, I was always keen on airfix kits. I was raised with them. People of my generation were. To me, I think in the plastic range, this airfix kit is miles superior compared to, to the 1959 release of the Revell kit. There's a lot of things in the Revell kit that I see on on these build threads, like Alex Modeling and his, uh, Alex Handos of Alex Modeling. He did a wonderful job. He went beyond the tail and then some on his uh, HMS Victory by making homemade sails and the 86 the rat lines and ate his own. And I don't think he used a jig. I think he just more or less was followed up with the dead eyes and uh, made it up to here. So like I say, they give you this jig. Don't throw that jig away. This jig can be used for making one models, especially for making rat lines. Very essential. I went down to uh, Hobby Lobby and I bought some more rigging line. And incidentally, this thing is sitting on a box that I bought there. They got these finished boxes, they're really nice. I've got all my good professional rigging thread inside this box right here. When I get done with it, I always put it right back in this box, that way I can have it for my equipment for ships and such. So I'll be on these ships for a long time. So I don't know how much longer I'll be on them, but I'll be on them for a long while before I go to an airplane again. Uh, I made the closest airplane I got almost done right now. I'll be on on, on Rob's basic modeling. It's uh, all that airfix group with the 148 scale Blenheim bomber. I've got that almost done. So that's the only last airplane I've built since I've been commissioned to work on two of these ships. Uh, so I'll keep busy. I'm making time to work on this too. So guys, what I'm doing actually, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get these things finished up before I get too old. And uh, I want to get these done. I had these started a long time ago. I think I started this thing about three or four years ago. I bought it at Space Hobby Shop. It came in a big old red box. And this is a real nice kit. It's old, it's ancient. And what you got to do is, you got to you got to understand is that this thing is an old kit. And there's a lot of flash on it. The molds are getting old. And sooner or later, you know, down the road, they're going to retire the molds in this kit. This kit's going to be a dinosaur. So what's out there to give and give is going to be either um, a model conventions or go through eBay. So whatever section you may choose, that's only two methods you'll be able to, uh, to get this kit again if that ever happens. So uh, anyway, like I said, there's a lot of flash in this kit. So take your time. I spent more time cleaning these parts than I did put this thing together. And the mask and the, the mask and the rigging and everything has got to be, uh, you got to be very, very careful on rigging these things up. Because you know they, you uh, you pull too hard, you pull your mask out of alignment. This thing is very fragile. I got some nice, good nylon thread that I use on this thing, and it has good, actually, rope, as it's braided it's like rope, scaled rope. And you got to be very careful, not don't pull too tight. Just just not take take the kink out of that line. It's too tight. I got two backstays back here. I got to put on here. Just like I did over here. This thing is complete over here, the backstays. I got Purdue backstays up here that's done. And I'm finishing up all the rigging, starting on the spirit, on the four spirit yard. Beautiful, good point, Stig. On the four spirit yard, and the gallant four spirit yard. 
I gotta put blocks there. There's actually there's eight blocks I gotta put on there. And what I do is I do a lot of kit bashing. I think we all got that same problem. Now my Thermopylae is an old, old, old scientific kit. Now I've got a lot of old scientific kits laying around. Well, these scientific kits we got laying around, there are uh, there are spare parts that you can take out of them. You can go ahead and use them in other kits. Well, for my uh, Thermopylae, on the rigging, they give you these fiber, these fiber, not fiber optics, these fiber blocks. They made out of fiber. They got holes in it. These are supposed to be simulated blocks. These are the blocks I'm using on this here. They're pretty much, these are much, pretty much in scale. One, one, one 180 scale. So I'll be using these. Those are a must. So these are gonna be the eight blocks I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna attach them and rig them up to the embouchment and go ahead and rig up the spirit yards. Bring it and see them off to the to the blank uh, rail, blank, uh, to the blank benches and to the bollards. So anyway, I use those for blocks and work very, very well. Again, I can't stress, don't throw this away. This is really, really nice. It is, I like it. And uh, you can make some nice rat lines for a long, long time out of this thing. The only two companies that issue this is the, it's Heller. And of course, I got one for the Heller, that victory kit I got working on, one 100 scale. I'll resume them back next, guys. I have not forgotten them. And it will not be laying them up all too much longer than I'll be working on them. So I get that out of the house of mine. Work on right now. It's my ball now. I'm at the, at the mass stage, and I can't go any higher because it's a big, big model. So this one here is small enough. So save this. You won't regret it. Okay. So I'm been pretty busy working on the victory right here, and uh, I'm, really enjoy I'm really enjoying working on this thing. And the last kick, guys. If you guys got one in your stash, just take your time building it, and be careful as you rig it up. And there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of resources out there on this thing. You can be able to uh, use as a guide or a table to construct your victory. They don't have too many of these on the internet. I know. So I went to the internet and did a search engine on the internet, see if I can find how many people has actually built this kit. And thus far, to my knowledge, uh, Mark Spoo Search has got one. And he did actually an inbox review of it. That was about four years ago. And since then, it has not been built since then. And there's been a couple of other builders uh, on, the, uh, on the internet. I don't know who they are. They've actually built the kit. And it's, it, it's really nice, guys. Like I say, it's, I think it's more, it's more decent. It's more decent than the, um, the, the Ravel one. The Ravel one's good. I'm not trying to give it a, I'm just trying to give it a quality report. I think Airfix has really done a good job on this one. And uh, just somehow it's just a, it's a piece size kit. And you got those cannons, you gotta be very careful with the cannons on there, especially on the punishment deck, the spar deck here. Yeah. These cannons are about, I think it was about two pieces. Yeah, two pieces make the whole cannon center. You gotta watch out in there. And the other cannons here are not too bad. So you gotta be aware, you got these, just like the, the Heller one, you gotta watch out. When you go hit those shutter bays, doors, they'll, they'll fall off. Oh yeah, another thing too, I, I noticed on the Ravel, Alex of Alex Modeling, he um, was the only one that got it right compared to the rest of the builders who built the Ravel 1225 scale H. Smith's Victory. The shutter bays are black. The only guys painted the other one up there because they assume and think that they're the same color as the ochre on here. But they're not, they're black. 
just like as you can see right here from a distance, black. So be sure to paint those black guys. Uh, you get the HBS Victory Internet right there, they get the real thing. Nothing's finer than the real thing. So this is a good kit. You guys got one in your stash, tape it. It's going to be a rarity one of these days. And it builds very, very nice. It really does. It's a very nice model. So right now I've got a lot of work to do on the bow before I finish up. I finish up all the rigging on the bow. We get the spirit sails all rigged up. I finish up the bob stays on the on the, uh, the bow spit. I'm going to go ahead and um, start making my foot ropes to all my yards, get them all done. Then when they're all finished, I'm going to go ahead and start rigging up the, uh, finish up the shrouds. Get them all done and everything else is going to be hooked. It'd be, it'd be running rigging, it's really fun. So a skill like this, a lot of things you can't do to it, a lot of things you can. Miniaturization is actually more authentic, more consistently than a larger scale model. And uh, like Philip Reed, he builds models like this in the scale, like 1 16th scale, 1 192 scale, 1 16th pinkles, 1 foot scale, real small shit, about the size of this almost. This thing ain't too far away from being 1 16th of scale. It's a little bigger than, than 1 16th scale. But uh, and, and, uh, miniaturization is the key. He makes his own fittings and everything. He's got a system how he does things. Very professional. And uh, it enriches you when you really have a full rig shit kit like the Victory. I think the Victory is the prettiest of them all. It's, it shows naval might of the Royal Navy. Something to reckon with. Beautiful vessel to behold. The uh, they gave you two boats, two jolly boats. This thing should have at least three more boats. But the kid only gives you two boats. I got thinking, where's my darn boats to this kid? I got, I got to have boats back here to rig on. And also, uh, on the chancel, I've got a, a, another whale boat to put back through there. The kid only gives you two light boats. That's the only thing I can say is bad about this kid, is that we'll give you enough of your boats. But this is an old kit. I think this kid came out back in maybe the 70s. I'm quite certain it did. But sure enough, it sure didn't come out in the 60s. So with an older kid, you got a lot of flash on this thing, so you really gotta take your time and clean the flash. Make it nice and clean before you do any building. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, I did the camera swing around here truly finish up the video here. I'm a pretty busy guy. I've been working a lot. And uh, I haven't touched the sea witch probably about about a week. So I don't want to, you know, the thing about it is when you work on these ships like this, you got to be very, you got to be very, very careful. You got to be very, very careful not to keep on too long to make mistakes. It's always good to, to bounce on something else. So I'm going to probably, uh, I'm going to do work on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and get those, those, those spirit yards all rigged up and proceed with the foot ropes. And after that, I'll go ahead and, and, uh, and just go on room with the rigging. Okay, guys, uh, next video coming up, it should be, uh, be another video on this. This is video number six. Okay. No, 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 no. This is video number four. Right. This is video number four. So I have video number five to come to this. And we'll have Firehouse Friday this Friday coming up. Uh, we didn't have it last Friday because I had to work over again. And so I didn't have time to, to work on the old fire engine, but I'll go to this week. And uh, we'll have Firehouse Friday all fired up, ready to go. Okay, guys, time me to bail out of here right now. I'm going to load up a little bit. We'll go ahead and take care of a few things around here.
before we get underway. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on this a little bit. You can hit the old sack at the while. Gorgeous day outside. Very gorgeous. Beautiful. Okay, guys, it's time for me to sign out of here right now. I've been here, I've been here a little long enough, a little bit too long, so stay posted for video number uh, five. So, uh, yeah, video five. Yeah, this is video four. So stay posted for that halfway in a couple of days. Then we'll get back on the big, on the uh, sea witch. Got that coming your way. I got a lot of stuff coming your way, fellas. And uh, so I got a lot of bills coming. I'm right now I'm just getting on these ships, getting these things all finished up. And uh, finish up my plate before I get on something else. I got a lot of stuff coming your ways, guys. So stay patient, old Frankie. We're going to get my new house right now. I have a lot more room. I'll be right back to my normal self. Okay, the camera's flashing a warning sign that the battery's getting low, so it's time for me to bail out of here. I want to blow the video. Again, I thank you very much for one of your wonderful candor and your wonderful comments. I very honor each one of you guys, and thank you very much for our new subscribers. A lot of new faces out there, too. And uh, make Mama happy. Please take care of the little ones. Uh, drive safely when you drive. Stay focused. Spend wisely. Get stuff for kit. Enjoy outside pleasures. Because this... Uh, this summer's flying, flying. Before you know it, it's snowball time. And uh, please don't mention that. But anyway, let's, let's slice. Okay, is it for the HMS Victory? Is it for Frankie Day? And stay posted for video five. I have it for you in a couple days coming your way. And uh, we'll have the Sea Witch. Okay, you guys take care of yourself and God bless you all. And this is Frankie Dave signing off with Frankie Dave Models. God love you, fellas. Take care of yourself. God bless you all.